So have you guys heard about Flappy Bird? You know, that game? I guess you do. But if you don't, I'll tell you. Flappy Bird is a game where you play as a flying yellow bird that tries to avoid pipes. But if you don't, you will... And for me, I think it's very simple to make. Well, not really, but you know. Anyways, a lot of game developers on YouTube are trying to remake them because, well, they can. So I decided that I'll give it a try. But I also decided to give myself a challenge. Make Flappy Bird in one day. So first I made a new 2D project and add a few folders. And then I add a... Square, because this is going to be the base shape of my game. And this is the part where I became... Because when I try to make obstacles for the game, I realized that I can do this. Well, that's kind of unfortunate actually. And by resizing the square, and add another square, we have an obstacle. Really, it's that simple. You just need two long squares and leave a gap in the middle, and then that's it. Oh yeah, also don't forget to put the color green on it. And now it's time to add a player. Yep, there it is. Now it's time for the fun part which is coding. And after a few lines of code, I got it done. Now it's time to add a rigid body to our player and the script that I made earlier and play. Oh. Wait, where did it go? Oh wait, of course. So let me just go ahead and... Ah, oh, thank god. And then I changed the gravity scale a bit and... Uh, okay, it's too big, hold on a second. And then I changed the gravity scale a bit and it now flaps like a bird. And then I add colliders to the obstacles so that player cannot no clip to them because it's weird. Yeah, I think the gap is way too big. So then I fix it and the gap is now smaller, which makes it more challenging. Now it's time to make the obstacles even more functional. And to do that, there are a few steps that we need to do. First, we need to add a rigid body to the obstacle so that the obstacles will be able to move. Write some code for the obstacle movement and... And... And finally, it works. And then I freeze the player's X position so it will not move along with the obstacle. Add a few more obstacles for testing and... Okay, hold on, let me make it faster. Okay, there you go. That's for the obstacle movement. The next thing I wanted to do is to make the obstacles generate by itself, so I wrote a code for it. And then I add an empty game object to act as an obstacle spawner. Add the obstacle spawner script, do a little bit of tweaking, and play. And as you can see, the obstacle spawns every second. Yeah, this is fun. I could do this all day. Now it's time to make the obstacle spawn in different position, because currently, the gap is just a straight line. After a little bit of coding and error fixing, I got it done. And this is the result. Yeah, that's more I like it. And to be honest with you, this game is starting to look like Flappy Bird, even though it's just squares and rectangles. And then I zoom out the camera a little bit so that players can have a better view. And that's for the obstacle generation. And now it's time to add scores to the game. So the first thing I did is add a trigger between the obstacles. And then I made a text UI to display the player's current score. And then I wrote two scripts. The first one is to display the score and the second one is the obstacle trigger. And here it is. Nice. And that's it for the score system. Finally, the obstacles are now functional. 
but there's something's missing and I'm not sure what that is. Now it's time to implement death and restart system. And here it is. And then I made sound effects using SFXR. Link in the description to download it. Add those sound effects to my game and... And then I change how the player dies by using particles. And add some tap to start and the game over screen. Coding, play, and as you can see, the game is now done. Actually, the game is not done yet because there's a lot of things that I need to add but it's it's for fun so yeah and it's time for the final touch okay so I have this phone here there you go this is the application if you can see it I, I don't think you can but this game is played in landscape mode I yeah, so so you just need to tap to start. Where, 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 the, where the hell is the sounds? Hold on a second. There you go. So it's just basically like in the computer, but instead of the mouse, I can just use my finger. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm so bad at this game. Okay, so that's... So that's the game actually. <laughs> it's it's kind of look like 5D but, it, but it's all squares because I'm actually very very lazy to design stuff. But it's actually quite fun. And that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like and subscribe to my channel. And if you want me to do something else, leave a comment down below. And of course, see you in the next one. Bye!